Good morning from Benny Holt. You join us today on our annual boiler exam. Now this is a critical part of the calendar for our steam locomotives, as the boilers, which are pressure vessels, have an inspection by an independent, highly qualified father and son team. So the testing is done in two parts. That is a cold test and a hot test. The cold test, the engine is stripped apart and the various components are inspected and using an endoscope, the boiler inspector can see inside the boiler. He can see the condition of the tubes, the stays, the inner box and other essential things like thickness testing is also carried out at this time. You then put the locomotive back together and you have what's called a hot test where you bring the locomotive round into steam and then test the safety valves and injectors to ensure that they are fully compliant. Now then, part of the critical components that the boiler inspector is checking is the washout plugs. Washout plugs look very much like this and they basically go in the boiler in various locations on the top in the smoke box and on the back head and these give you access to the boiler for washing out exactly hence the name washout plugs also you have what's called a fusible plug now the fusible plug is a bronze plug with a leaded core and the purpose of this is to be a safety feature and this is screwed up into the crown of the firebox so if you run low on water, the heat from the fire beneath will melt the leaded core and release all of the pressure, again avoiding a potentially unpleasant situation. A lot of you are going to wonder why it's not Ellie and our flagship engine Zebedee and why you only saw Ruby and Muffin being tested today. And the truth is Ellie needs just a little bit more work before we can put it forward for its boiler test. As well as that, testing four engines, or three engines indeed, in one day can be quite a challenge. Zebedee, on the other hand, is still away at the works, having its 10-year rebuild, and we look very much forward to welcoming that one back in time for our 50th anniversary in June this year.